welcome back to my channel braids by shania today i will be showing you guys how i get the hair ready before my client gets here how i pull out the hair to get those perfect feather tips a lot of you guys ask me what kind of hair i use i use expressions braiding hair it doesn't matter what brand this is the brand that i like to use it is 84 inches and i definitely cut the hair in half and the ends look like this and we don't want that. So I go ahead and cut the hair in half. The hair comes braided so there's already three sections. I just pull it out in those three sections. It's a lot easier because when you brush it out, you don't have to brush out a huge piece of hair. Here goes the three sections. Usually one end will look like this and the other end will be kind of curled. I like to start with that end. I've just found that I get the best results that way. As you see, I just grab little tiny pieces and stretch them out. You don't have to stretch them out very far. If you're looking for a thinner look, then that's when you would stretch it out really far. I like mine to be kind of in the middle. Not too thick, but not super thin either. As you pull it out, the bottom will start getting all tangled up, but don't worry about it. It's super easy to detangle. While you guys are watching this, I might as well bring it to your attention that I'm thinking about doing different stuff on my channel. I'm really thinking about doing vlogs or lookbooks more hair reviews let me know down below what different kind of videos you guys want to see or if you think i should just make a separate channel I found this brush to be the best brush to use when it comes to doing this. You can also use a paddle brush, but this brush just lasts longer. Make sure you hold the hair super tight and don't let the strands slip because you're going to have to brush it kind of hard. After you brush the hair out, it should look just like this. Here I'm just showing you guys the difference. This braid has been pulled out so that the ends are tapered. It hasn't been dipped yet, so it's not super perfect. This one is an example of what it looks like when you do not feather the ends. Super ugly, super sloppy, so make sure you always take the time to pull out the ends. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video and let me know down below what you guys want to see next.